Hey, welcome to my channel. I decided to start a four course tutorial showing you guys how to give your shots a filmic look. At the end of these series, I'll export all the film looks as presets for you to download and use in your own projects. These presets will be absolutely free and for personal and for commercial usage. So stick around to the end and let's learn together how to achieve the filmic look. Okay, so a little bit of a backstory. Last year, I did my first exhibition, photo exhibition, and I've chosen some of my best works from the past three, four years as a photographer, and I re-edit each of them to make sure that uh, they are exactly as I want them to be and the best quality possible. And I thought, okay, this would be cool if I would show people how I actually edit my pictures and what I think uh, it's important when you edit your shots. So as you can see, this is the before, this is the after. This was shot on a 50mm lens, 1.8 manual focus. Uh, this is a 75mm equivalent on a full frame. And uh, as you can see, this is, this is actually out of focus, like his eyes are out of focus. I think I focused on his ear, but that's okay. Yeah, so let's start by pressing F7 for a new variant. This is on Windows, cool. And uh, what I always do when uh, I start editing, I just go to the Details tab, bring down all the sharpening because I don't need it. Since this is shot on digital, there's a lot of information, a lot of details, no problem. Okay, um, next thing, bring up the brightness. Bring down the contrast because I want to have as much control as possible over the image. Uh, bring up the exposure just a little bit. Okay, cool. And now we can see now we can see what we're working with actually, like how much detail, how much uh, noise there is in the shot. So go back to the details tab. I usually bring down the luminance because, anyways, at the end of the edit, I'll just add a little bit more grain. No problem. So luminance will take that out and smoothen everything. I don't really want that, okay? Uh, what I'll do, I'll bring the single pixel all the way up. And what that does, it kind of kind of gets you kind of gets rid of all the dead pixels or hot pixels. And you can bring it all the way up to 100 because it's non-destructive. It will not affect your image. So that's super super cool. Okay, so first first things first, we can see like compared to uh, to the edit I, I've done before. This is super hot, okay? This is like uh, super yellow, red-ish. So let's bring it down to, let's say, 3800 uh, on the Kelvin slider and bring down the tint so we make it green, okay? Something like that. Okay, I'll bring up maybe a little bit more of the shadow so we can see more details here in the face. Cool, as we can see here, if we notice, there is like a purple fringing from the sensor. Uh, I think the sensor had some kind of issues because I bought it. Um, it was resealed uh, and I didn't notice this problem until a couple months after I bought the camera. But that's okay, it's not a problem for me anymore and it wasn't a problem even before because I was using this camera for uh, personal projects or just my own pictures, whatever. What I usually do with my pictures, I'm going for a really soft look, okay? I'm, I'm going for something more like a moody, uh, dark look. Okay, so maybe just bring it a little bit more to the green side, good. And now I'll bring up the exposure just a little bit more and then crush the whites. So if you notice when you crush the, the whites, the image becomes darker, okay? So let's do it like so maybe bring down the exposure just a little bit good now saturation a little bit down cool and actually what i'm gonna do bring up all the way up the saturation so we can see all the colors we're working with at the moment just you know and let's go to the color editor uh press the three buttons right there and here you can see each color channel individually and this is super super helpful because uh, here you you can see actually what you're working with and uh, which parts uh, Which channel like how much color information is in each channel? 
So I want to remove that purple fringing from here. So we're looking into the magenta pink and even a little bit of the reddish tone. So we need to go to each channel individually and just turn it off. Okay. Maybe in the, in the red one, just a little bit. Exactly. Okay. Now go back to, to the saturation and bring it down like so. Cool. Maybe add a little bit of vignetting. And now, as you can see, we kind of like got rid of the purple fringing. Cool. That's nice. Okay, maybe I've crushed it a little bit too much. Bring it back a little bit. Okay. Add some green in the mixture, in the highlights, and then some blue in the shadows. Maybe a little bit too much. And, um, and let's see. Can we tweak it a little bit like that? Like so. Cool. Okay. And maybe in the midtones, add just a little bit more red. So the face is, you know, it's not completely green, even though that's not bad, but I'm trying to make something else here. Cool. Something like that. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Cool. Also, maybe go here. Let's check some other colors. Maybe the yellow. I want to desaturate the yellows a little bit because I don't like what's going on around here. It's super, super nasty. As I've said, this, this was underexposed big time. And uh, the colors are kind of kind of bad around here. So let's go into the yellow one and just desaturate. See? Okay, not that much, but we can desaturate just a little bit, like so. Cool. Maybe go more like a... Yeah. So now I'm doing some uh, fine tuning. Cool. Maybe now even less saturation, just like that. Okay, cool. Okay. Okay. So this is it. This is it. And for the final adjustment, I'll just uh, zoom in a little bit and even add a little bit more grain. Some people might not like that because they don't like their shots grainy. Maybe they like it smooth. That's okay. No problem. It's your decision. Uh, I'll just add a little bit more silver rich film grain. Uh, so my favorites are kind of like silver rich, cubic grain. This is like a little bit finer than the silver one. And tabular, but tabular it's sometimes a little bit too harsh. So I bring down the granular. I'll bring down the granularity. But um, silver rich for me at least it's the most natural. So I really like that one. Cool, something like this. Okay, so let's check it out. This was the before, and this is the after. So thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you found this tutorial helpful and if you want a uh, more in-depth tutorial on color grading and uh, how to get different looks, just let me know in the comments and I'll, I'll make some new tutorials. See you in the next one. See ya.